magicians are like boxers. They don't want you to see what they're doing with their hands until it's too late. Let's see who's going toe to toe with Penn and Teller this round. I'm Doc Dixon. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a comedy magician. When I was a teenager, I worked as an emergency medical technician on the local ambulance service. I decided eventually to pursue magic as my career path, but the nickname stuck. Being an EMT, the stakes can be life or death. Being a magician, the stakes can be, it wasn't the three of clubs. As a magician, I've twice performed at the White House, and it's no different playing for Washington bigwigs than it is playing for a person on the street. People are people, and the appeal of magic is universal. Penn and Teller have seen some huge magic on Fool Us. I'll be bringing the smallest trick that's ever been brought to the Fool Us stage. Penn and Teller, it's time to play the game. Thank you, Allison. Penn and Teller, please join me. Give them some noise. Have a seat, gents. It's time to play the game. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Have a seat. Sure. Before we begin, a quick proviso. This is not a magic trick. Okay. This is a game. Let's treat it as such. This is the shell game. Played with three ersatz walnut shells and a little cork pea. The game has few rules, I like it that way. One rule, P must always end up underneath the shell. Duh. Another rule, only one P. The last thing a man wants to be known is the kind of man that would use two P's. So, Penn, if you would please, mark up the P, initial it so we know it's the official P of the game. Legume artistry. Tell her. As he does that, please keep in mind, that's a permanent marker, which means it will always be a marker. Thank you, brother. I've signed the P. It was kind of fun. <laughs> awesome. Nice work. A little shot there. <laughs> oh, nice. Sweet. Okay. We'll play three rounds. The first two rounds with the audience, the final round with Penn and Teller. It's a simple enough game if you don't know it. I cover up the P with the shell, move the shells around. Your job, keep your eye on the shell with the P. I have total confidence in you. You're going to do great. Don't take your eyes off the shell with the P. Just watch. Very simple game. You got it, I know you do. A, B, C, where should the P be? C, excellent choice. First time you played, only 15 inches away. Nothing to be ashamed of. Good job, good job. Round two coming up. Now I realize we had a bit of a hiccup in round one. Here's the problem, it's not your fault, it's the choice you had. They're all empty and identical. It's like voting. So. <laughs> boom, 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 okay. So. To keep things on the up and up, I'll put a sticker on the shell with the P. Now you follow that sticker, you're gonna be winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, follow the sticker. Keep your eye on the sticker. You're gonna do a great job. Doesn't matter how fast or slow, follow the sticker. Look! Where's the... P no, 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 the sticker, the sticker, right there. <laughs> Round three. Thank you. Round three coming up. I've played this game thousands of times. Never been more excited to play it with you two guys. Thank you. The honor's mine. Thanks. The P is right there. The glass goes on top of the shell. The cup goes on top of that. Tell her, please do me a favor. Hold a finger in the air like you just don't care. Thank you. Put her right there. I'll keep these bad boys back here. Here we go. Round three in two parts. The P just vanished from underneath the shell, the glass, the cup, the sticker, your finger, it's gone. Please remove your finger. No, no, the finger, please. <laughs> I'll talk to him later. And now, part two, the pea will end up in one of the other shells, but the question is, which one? Now, I don't want you to announce your choice. This is a gentleman's game. But I will say this. If you should choose incorrectly, there would be those that claim, I have a claim to that Fool Us trophy. On the other hand, if you should choose correctly, you should win something too. You will win all the money in the wallet of some guy I bumped backstage. <laughs> oh, Mike Close, good man. Here we go. The P has left the cup, left the shot glass, left the shell, gone.
Now the question is, which one did you pick? Gone. Now I realize there's a portion of the audience that thinks I just cheated. I refer to that portion as everyone. <laughs> but I didn't cheat. I obeyed all the rules. Rule number one, he's gotta be underneath the shell. Rule number two, only one P. And rule number three, winner, winner, chicken dinner, follow the sticker. I promised you I wouldn't use an extra P. Never promised I wouldn't use an extra shell. Inside the cup, not just a shell, but an entire walnut. Yet, I hear something inside. Let's see. For your safety, draped. And inside the shell, a P. 10, please confirm, is that your mark? There's my initials, and there's the peace sign. Yes. Well, it works! Thank you, sir. Thank you. John Dixon, everyone! Wow! Oops. I think you could win a lot of bets with that. I, I wouldn't cheat somebody un unless it was absolutely convenient. So. <laughs> The great thing about the shell game is it's one of those things, like all of you have probably heard of it, but probably none of you have ever seen it played. And, and that's one of the things that makes it so cool. The moment I'm you know, performing in an event, trade show, whatever, they see those shells on the table, it's like, bam. And they, they're, yeah. they're drawn over and they want to play the game. And are they drawn to it because they think they can beat it? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. It's, it's not just a show or a trick that you watch, it's a trick that you play. Yeah. And that, that just brings folks in. Yeah. So that's one and of the things I love about it. And, and the thing is, because you don't, it's not like you're doing it so fast that we can't. Like, I thought, oh, yeah, I got this. I can follow it. And then I'm like, what happened? It's amazing. Yeah, you know, I'm as shocked as you when I lift up the P with the sticker. I just, <laughs> it's like, it's wrong. It's wrong. All right. Well, let's see if they know the nuts and bolts of your trick. Penn, tell her. Um, you know, when you see a trick like this, uh, which is a cliche, three shells, P, cliche in, in our culture. Uh, I believe people watching at home just say, well, Penn and Teller know this, they've seen this kind of thing a thousand times, which we have. But we've also seen it enough to know things you're doing that are very, very different. Like that it's a real cork pee. Most people use little sponge things, which changes the entire trick. Uh, also, you had to sign the pee. Now, I was sure that Teller would have known that from somewhere. I'd never seen it before. It turns out neither did he, which all of a sudden gives this thing a personal importance. As silly as that is, someone you know has signed that, all of a sudden that means a little something. That stupid little P is now our stupid little P. <laughs> and that, that makes a difference. That really does make a difference, and it also makes the trick much, much more mystifying. Now, we come down to that P in the walnut which is all we really care about, because yeah. you know that we know the moves. Gotcha. And we thought about it, talked about it, and we think, and I'm gonna take you at your word, we think you held out and added that P when you folded over the handkerchief. Is, is that what you did, something like that? No, sir. You're, you're saying that the P was actually in the walnut shell? Yes, sir. And you're telling me the truth? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, if the pea was actually in the walnut shell, you fooled us. <laughs> what a great year. Oh, 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 thank you. Great year. Thank you. Get relief or face strike two. They'll take another swing after this commercial break. Oh